my people it's yet another beautiful day to learn something new and kama kawaida sit back relax and forget your worries because whatever it is that is troubling you whatever it is that is stressing you can be fixed so is it stress sana how's you so now today i want to teach you how to protect nyota yako in swali nimeulizwa na watu wengi sana okay umetufundisha kurudisha nyota umetufanyisha 40 days umetufanyisha readings umetupea ways za kujua nyota yako ni gani so how do we actually protect it ndio isibiwe tena or does it mean that once you have your star back isibiwe tena it can be stolen and uh, by now you know kuibiwa nyota si ati nilo unaibiwa kama kibeti mtu anapotea nayo it's mostly your ability to shine is taken away so somebody either exploits you uh, they use spiritual means to cripple your all gift ama they sabotage you from uh, reaching your destiny fulfilling your purpose and making you star shine so how do you protect yourself <coughs> so i want you to think about it like the way you protect your house you have valuables in the house and uh, depending on how much money you have or the valuable you have in your house you know in a determining the kind of security that you're going to have in your house kama wewe ni mtu umeanza kujikalisha last week na hujapata hata pesa ya mattress ama pesa ya kitanda uko tu na bucket moja kwa nyumba na mattress moja you don't even think much about kuibiwa because you have nothing to be stolen but kama umeenda ume umekomboa uko na nyumba umebuy ka sofa set ka smart pale kuna tv kuna microwave kuna ma home theater you have a lot of expensive stuff <clears throat> then now at that moment you know the possibility of kuibiwa is very high so you even beef up your own security you're either going to move on to a neighborhood that is a bit safer kuta buy padlock kubwa kuta make sure kwenye unaishi maybe kuna security kuna watchman ama kitu kama hiyo kuna mlango ya chuma you know kuna cctv all these measures zinakuanga zimekwa za ku protect valuables zetu but you'll be surprised a lot of people do not protect their most precious gift which is your star any like tulipatiwa na mungu kaambiwa go to the world and shine this will be the guiding star that will guide you through life help you go to the correct paths and guide you towards uh, fulfilling your purpose and reaching your destiny hiyo ni kitu mmoja wanga to protect na watu wengi sana nyota zao zinaibiwa because you don't protect it na wengine hata ikirudi you you inaibiwa tu tena ju you don't know how to protect it so now when it comes to protection a lot of people think about it in a superstitious way every time kijoto ina sound spiritual as africans or as human beings we tend to be very uh, superstitious so hapo ndo unaona watu wanaenda kwa waganga mtu anaenda anapewa jivu sijui amoge kwake nje anapoka poda kawaita na mbuye ndo uzungushe nyumba yako hizi mifupa za chura enda upande hapo kwenye nje vitu kama hizo wengine wanaenda church unapakwa mafuta unapewa maji and all these kind of stuff they, they, they sell you in church to offer you protection uh, some of them work depending on your spiritual beliefs hata uchavi work depending on if you believe in it religious stuff kama maombi also works to some extent is uh, depending on if you believe in it but the most important thing and or the best way to protect your star is you is through something we call self discovery self discovery simply means kujijua the moment unajijua it becomes very easy for you to protect your star why is it the best way number one when you know what you have it becomes very easy to protect it ni kama venye nimekupatia example ya nyumba nikakwambia ile siku una vitu mingi kwa nyumba uko tu na kato tunalalia hapo chini you don't think too much about security but now the more you accumulate a wealth umejijenga nyumba yako umepimp vizuri umenunua mpaka kagari na hapo umepata mpaka watoto you want to be in a neighborhood that is safe and you want to be in a position whereby you feel uh, yourself your property and your family are protected so the more you have the more you know you have uh the more seriously you take your security measures so it's very important kujijua so that you know what is it that attracts people to you why are you getting all these attacks what kind of star do you carry so that you even anticipate the kinds of attacks you're supposed to get 
Because kama uko na nyota ya leadership na kwa na zile attacks una expect watu wanakusikilia wivu watu job wanajaribu kuendea chini what we call sabotage kukata migu and stuff like that so once you know what you have it becomes very easy even to know what to look out for and to know what you're protecting so that you can be able to even anticipate the kind of attacks to expect and where to come from so knowing what you have it becomes now easy now to assess your security situation so unajitambua design gani remember we've talked about the 4k principle or the 4k golden formula and that is the formula you use for self discovery to join your tayako so that you can be able to protect it and just a reminder for you the first k simply means know thyself ujijue wewe ni nani gift yako ni gani abilities zako ni gani how is your emotional intelligence what are your dreams what are your values this is all ni vitu nafaa kujua from the for, uh, the first k no thyself ukishajijua ujue mpaka talents zako abilities zako nyota yako ni gani it now becomes easy for you kujipanga unajua i will not associate with these people cause utanibia nyota i will not stay in this environment cause hii environment inanizimia nyota i'll stop listening to some people because they discourage me na wanizimia nyota and stuff like that then after you know yourself you know by past you're able to look back and see where you come from uh what kind of curses run in your family what kind of energies are in the environment that you're brought up in and most importantly something very important zenye tukot tunaongelea going forward is something called uh understanding how you are loved because how you are loved depends on, uh, depends uh, determines a lot how you are going to create relationships with other people and how you are going to face life So how you are loved as a child is very important and you understand these things by looking back learning about your past and knowing thy past. So once you know thy past and you know thyself you're solid now umejitambua vizuri. So you go to K number 3 and you know your purpose. Once you know your purpose you know the reason why you're on this earth. And the moment you know why you're on this earth it keeps you grounded, it helps you understand the path that you're supposed to follow. It helps you understand the things that you're supposed to concentrate on so that distractions mingi mingi unaachana nazo. It helps you to focus on that one thing that brought you to this world. And once you focus on one thing, sometimes it may be angonyota because you're stretching yourself too thin. Una focus up, una focus up. You want to get the attention of everything, you want to please everybody. You don't even know what your purpose is, so una ruka ruka hapa na pale unajaribu hii, unajaribu ile. And because you don't know your purpose, you don't know where to put all your energy and your focus on. And in the process of kujitafuta hapa na pale, you end up finding that nyota yako ilibiwa kitambo ama nyota yako ilizimo bila wewe kujua. And now once you know thyself, you've known thy past and now you know thy purpose, you now understand uh K number four, which you call know thy path. Now, your path is the path that you're supposed to walk on. To lead you to your destiny the path that god intended for you to walk on the opportunities that god intended for you the partner that god intended for you the connection that god intended for you the destiny that god intended for you and you can only reach this path if you know yourself you understand your past you know what your purpose is because purpose is the vehicle that you're going to use on this track or on this road we call the path Ukishajua the 4K is now you are able to protect yourself because unajua what you have and what people will come to steal from you uh what kind of uh attacks or enemies do you expect along the way and it also helps you know you can tell somebody who is not genuine or somebody who is genuine before they approach you so you'll know the people to stay away from the people to interact with the people to marry the friends to make the places to live the environments to be in and all those other things so to me the best way to protect your taco is is by knowing thyself which you call self discovery na kama kujua 4k yako imekulemea you can always come for a reading and i will assist you it sounds like too much work but in a reading session we can do it within one hour na ukume days of it is all past yourself purpose na pathenyo na follow 
Alright? So kama umeenjoy video, pinya like pia mimi nisikie raha. I always appreciate it when uh, you guys subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And also pia maswali. Unaweza uliza swali kitu nataka ni explain ama kitu nataka kujua zaidi. Unaweza niuliza swali hapo kwa comments. I'll see you in the next video.